Hello everyone and welcome back. And in today's video, it's gonna be something a bit different. Um, let's be honest, I ain't got much to talk about. Um, there's no transfers going through, even like sales and stuff. We're kind of waiting for things to happen. Not gonna do a video on on Haig, uh, Haug, because I feel like I did the exact same thing for someone like Pobega and it's just the same sort of story. Um, I kind of wanted to do this a couple of weeks ago um, because obviously I changed my blinds back then by throwing up some Milan kits and stuff. And I just kind of want a video where I'm having a bit of fun and a bit of nostalgia. And uh, and why not really? It's something that kind of like is quite deep to my heart because it goes back into a lot of history. Um, I'm going to be kind of like showing off all the Milan merchandise, all the kits I've sort of amalgamated and accumulated from my past as a Milan fan and, um, and going through each of them and kind of like trying to remember the years that I got the kits from. And just kind of have a bit of fun with it. And um, that's kind of why I've got this like camera a bit panned out. It's a bit further away. So I'm hoping you can see the kit. We might have a bit of fun and seeing what names are on the back as well. So uh, yeah, it's just a video for a bit of fun, guys. So let's get started. So straight off the back, I'm going to go to my oldest kit that I own. Um, it's not actually the one that I bought first. It's kind of one that I got because I was born in 1991. And obviously following Milan fan for being a Milan fan for quite a long time. It's uh, something that I wanted to get looking back at the, at the team back then. They won the Scudetto that year. And I felt, I think it was about 10 or 15 years ago, I thought to myself, I want to get the kit from that year. So this is the first kit that I've really got to show off. This is the 1991 jersey. Um, no one on the back. No one on the back. Um, yeah, I mean, this is it's, it's quite a nice jersey. doesn't fit me anymore, but it's um, still something I love to keep because it's just pure nostalgia. But yeah, this is like a, a lovely jersey back from the time when, you know, we used to have Adidas there and that, that the beautiful logo there. But yeah, I love this jersey here. Um, yeah, we're just going to kind of like speed through all my, all my kits because I've got so many here. This is kind of like ridiculous. I can't do a sort of bio piece on every kit because we'll be here all day. Um, this is the second one I've got. Um, I can't actually remember when this was purchased. This was, this was the 1994 jersey. Once again, no one on the back, disgracefully. Um... Yeah, this is a lovely jersey again, long sleeve, um, if you can't see there. And yeah, it just goes back to the time, just throw me back to a complete era when we were just so dominant in, in world football. And um, beautiful jerseys, really, this is what kind of got me into being a Milan fan. This is just uh, pure beautiful, you know, the red and black just sticks out. Opel, the sponsor, it's just pure nostalgia here. Um, yeah, it's incredible. And before we kind of like get onto when I was regularly buying uh, jerseys every year, the last one, and you probably seen me wear this in a few videos before, which is the um, the 2002 jersey. Um, yeah, another lovely one here, traditionally Opel, Adidas. Annoyingly, once again, no one on the back, but this is about to finish. Don't worry, I do get some players on the back where we all have a bit of fun and looking at the names of past. But yeah, another lovely jersey, kind of still fits me, so I kind of like regularly wear it in the video. It's a bit oversized, but um fits a little bit better than the other jerseys okay yeah so hopefully i'm not boring you yet with all my jerseys but um you gotta bear with me on this one we are going to get to the banter slowly but um, i started collecting jerseys really properly in um 2005 and this was the first one i got um it's kind of when we were shopping around with the whole opel thing and then zafira was part of the opel brand was made as the uh, the main logo and i have got the legend on the back paolo maldini i don't know if you can see it there um yeah number three absolute icon Lovely jersey here. Uh, yeah, it's just brilliant jersey. And um, yeah, let's just keep cracking on, really. This is obviously a very important year. This jersey came about 2006 when we won the, um, well, 2006, 2007, we won the Champions League. And I've got one of my, probably my favourite player of all time, Gennaro Gattuso. I absolutely love him. I absolutely adore him. The number eight in that gold is absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, lovely jersey. So many great memories, obviously, beating Liverpool in the final in... Um, in Athens, it was just the revenge what we wanted. It was just an incredible game. Um, <laughs> we're gonna just keep firing through these because I've got so many here. Season after that, um, obviously, player who blew out of that season, Kaká. And this is the 2007 2008 jersey. Um, yeah, once again, lovely one. We changed over, I don't know, we were win on B win on the um, the season before, but yeah, B win again. This just reminds me of the uh, the Super Cup when we beat Sevilla, I think it was 3 1. Yeah, in the Super Cup, fantastic game. Jankolovski scored an absolute banger. What a game. But yeah, lovely jersey here. Annoyingly, the, all these jerseys, these these kits, they don't fit me uh, anymore. Uh, it was a time when I was a bit larger. And uh, it's such a shame to have so many kits and just I can't wear them because they look like absolute ponchos. What we got here? 
season after that, season after that. This is obviously 2008, 2009. Um, kind of like a classic jersey, not my favourite, but not a bad one. And I'm probably one of the few people in the world who has got Marek Jankolovski on the back. Uh, I loved him because I'm a left-footed player myself. I do love... I love what he contributed to the side. Uh, we kind of we were talking about this on the channel of um, thinking of who the, who were the best left backs that Galliani brought into the squad, like you know purchase. Obviously, we can't include Maldini because he came from the youth ranks, but, and we couldn't think of anyone better than Jankolovski. Serginho was thrown about, but he was a bit more of a left midfielder, left winger. But yeah, Jankolovski sort of really hits home of someone I just loved uh, when I was growing up watching this side, and then. It's kind of it's quite staggering because I keep getting home jerseys. Once again, I've got another one. The season after that, this is the 2009 jersey. Um, when I look at this, I think of players like Klasian Huntala and Marco Borriello. Uh, a time when we were sort of transitioning in between when we won the Champions League and also getting back to when we won the league in 2010, 2011. You know, this is a nice jersey. I wasn't a big fan of the collar. I got Pato on the back. You know, I just I wish things ended up better with him and his Milan career. But yeah, uh, lovely jerseys when I really look back at these. It's just so nice. Um, a season after that is when we finally, finally got back to being a good Milan side. This was the away... Yes, uh, finally an away kit. I know what you're thinking. This is an away kit from the, uh, the league winning side. And I had to get our man, well, Ronaldinho, number 80 on the back. Yeah, just fantastic player, fantastic side. We finally brought the league back. And yeah, it was just a great year, really. I love this jersey. Once again, just wish it fitted. Um, and then, really, the last kit before I get us in, I get us onto the banter era is the the home jersey of 2011-2012. I kind of was a bit on edge with this one because it has the short, the thin stripes. I didn't mind it. Um, it has the little writing below the, below the logo as well. Confirmations that we won the league that year. And on the back, I've got one of the most underrated players of world football, and that's Clarence Seydorf, the number 10. Absolute gem of a player. Brilliant, fantastic player, servant to the squad. And it wasn't until he was gone that I really missed him. And uh, this is a lo another lovely jersey, really. And, uh, yeah, fantastic. So here we go. This is banter era. Um, and annoyingly as well, this is kind of like when I lost a bit of weight and I, could, I can actually fit into these jerseys myself. But the players on the back... I'm not really proud to wear these kits because some of the players on the back, the people would just laugh at, like thinking that they actually played for Milan and they were Milan caliber like players. And the first one I got, which was obviously once our team capitulated and crumbled, this is the away jersey from the 2012 2013 season. It's a lovely jersey, I do love it quite a lot, but um, I wore it quite a lot playing football. Um, so apologies for the writing on the back, it's a bit tattered up. But you have uh, Nocerino on the back, he took number eight off Gattuso, which is. Um, it's quite disgraceful when you think back at it, how how far we fell on that one there. But yeah, nice jersey there. What we got after this? This is the season after that. I go back to buying more home kits again. Another lovely top with the uh, the gold stripes down the side. We're still with Adidas at this point. We uh, they drop us, they dump us for Puma a couple of years later after this. But yeah, a nice a nice lovely jersey here. This is one a player I wish would have exploded a bit more in his career, Stefano Shawari. I loved him when he had that breakout year once uh, once all the legends sort of left the club and it was time for someone to step up. And he'd done well. He'd done well for half a season to a year. He was a great player, but just um, too many injuries and just uh, I guess the club itself didn't have that sort of nah, well quality to make him explode even further. Season after that, um, so it's fair, some of these some of these names are quite some of these names I, I love. You know, like El Shirari, I can't critique him for when he was good. Nigel De Jong, you know, an absolute servant for the club um, when he was with us for the few years that we got him in a cheap deal from Man City. This is the season, obviously, after that kit. There, um, I think this makes it. So it was, I lost track of where I'm at now. I think this is the 2014 2015 season jersey. Uh, this is when we sort of changed to getting these different old school logos back in which i didn't mind but i just I, it just doesn't it just doesn't compare to the traditional logo of ac milan um when we have these more circular logos it's, just, it's a lovely jersey though but i mean that's not to everyone's taste but yeah i love it it brings me back memories because i went to the game in the san siro when we beat into milan 1-0 and de young scored a late goal um so this just brings me back memories to that game um following on after that well, uh, this is a bit of a questionable one on the back, so please don't laugh at me at this one. 
the away kit from the uh, the following year when we signed Carlos Bacar and uh, Luis Adriano were our main two big signings. And me not trying to curse the the main striker that we signed, I brought a Luis Adriano jersey. Um, yeah, you know, a nice kit once again. I can't crit- we can't really critique the Adidas kits that they've made for us in the past. Uh, I wish Puma kind of hit their hit the nail on the head a bit more better with their kits. But yeah, this is a nice top again. Um, yeah, I'm hoping you suck with me in this one. This is quite a this is a fun one for me. But obviously, I don't know if you. It might be better if you guys could actually see this in front of your hands and feel these kits. But these are lovely kits. Uh, this is from the same year, I believe. Uh, this is a kind of obscure jersey. This is a. Uh, the third kit from that season. This is the 2015-2016 season. Um, yes. Giacomo Bordaventura, one of my favourite Milan players of the uh, the banter era the last decade on the back. Yeah, this is a nice top. I think Jan's got this on the channel as well. This is a lovely top. Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, not sure everyone likes the colours, the whole green and yellow sort of effect, but I liked it. I liked it. It was an obscure colour. It was a nice change. Um, it's got nice sort of like Italian patterns on the back as well. Yeah, I liked it. Nice top. What have we got here? Okay, so this was the this was the uh, the season that Montella sort of exploded with the side, and our underachieving side won the Italian Super Cup. This is the home kit from that year, and I, I love this top. I really did love this top. Um, I love this sort of. So you got this sort of like faded stripe design at the bottom. Really lovely there. Um, got the Serie A patch on the side. Not with every kit, you know. Treat myself that year. Um, and then, yeah, Suzo on the back. Um, loved it. You know, this was a standout year for himself. When I look at this kit, I just think back at the, the Derby game when he scored two against Inter Milan. And, yeah, it was, a, it was a decent year when we look back at it, really, and think of uh, how things fell off when the Chinese owners took over. But from that same season, I also got the away kit because I really liked it as well. It was the, uh, the collared white top, if I can sort of get my hands around it. This is a complete disaster. But, yeah, I, I did like this kit. This is... Um, oh, my bad. Let me just fix that there up a little bit there. Yeah, this is a lovely kit. I got Bonaventura again because he had a little number change and went to five. The gold right on the back. This is a lovely kit, I have to say. Um, but I mean, I wore it so much. The Serie A patch is, uh, is so faded. I don't know if you can see that there. But yeah, there's absolutely a dump of kits by the right of me right now. If I can move the camera down there, it would be quite <laughs> something to look at. But this is an absolute shambles on the right of me. So I've got to clean this one up afterwards. And this is really where it goes, um, well, even more sidewards. And I'm not proud I'm not proud of this kit at all. Um, not in the slightest. Uh, this is the away kit from the following year. Um, I also did own the third kit, but that got a bit ruined. Uh, I had Kessie on the back of that one. But it got a bit ruined. This is the away kit. It's a nice jersey. It's a nice jersey. Um, the reason why I don't like it is the player I got on the back, and that is Leonardo Bonucci. And we don't have to really talk much about why this is a complete embarrassment of a jersey to get i got it in spite of my brother being a juventus fan um i thought if i could wear this all the time with his name on the back he'd it would rile him up but little did i know he'd go and join juventus back the following year so that one should really go in the bin but we have to keep it just because you know i paid money for it after that this is the season after that um what is this then this would make it the night the 2018 2019 season um i didn't mind this one this is this is when we finally officially go to Puma. Um, yeah, nice kit. I didn't mind it. It's a nice collar effect. I bought it towards the end of the year because uh, I just wasn't happy with what happened at the Chinese takeover. I was a bit sort of... Ugh. I'm an Aaron being a Milan fan of that. Po- no, not I'm an Aaron, but it was a bit sort of... It was a, it was a, it was a hard pill to swallow considering we had so much money and we wasted it so much. But one of the players during this season that st- stood out was... Uh, Lucas Paqueta, um, yeah, he had a really good end of the season. Even like Piontek, I was deliberating getting him on the back of this shirt. But yeah, this is a nice jersey. It was a good start to the sort of uh, the Puma changeover. I didn't mind it. It was a nice one. Um, got a couple left, so please bear with me on this one. Um, what we got here? This is a nice one, but it sort of comes up really tight on me. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one. I just it's it's in immaculate condition. This is the third jersey. Oh, this is the third jersey from that year as well. Actually, this is a. Uh, Sort of a darker colour on the sides, black in the middle. And I got our current captain, um, Alessio Romagnoli, on the back. Um, yeah, lovely jersey, this one here. It's pretty much in perfect condition because I rarely wear it. But yeah, lovely jersey. And 2019 season, I didn't get a jersey that year. Um, 
I just didn't like any of them really. They just didn't stand out to me as something I wanted to purchase. And then I followed up by the following year by getting this home top, as you're seeing me wear now. And you've seen it in a couple more videos from last season. This is the Away kit, which I think is fantastic. A beautiful design. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing third kit. I've got tail on the back. Got this a couple more a couple months ago. It was on Puma Sale, which is a, it was a steal. But yeah, guys, th that's it pretty much. Um, if I could throw anything else into the mix, I've got this little Milan training top. I got. I think I got this. In, this is from the, the twenty nineteen season. I made up for not getting a kit by getting a training top. So there you go. My money, my money is spent regardless with the uh, with the Milan store. That's it, guys. That's all the kits that I own. I'm not qu quite sure how many that counts up to. Maybe over twenty kits. Um, yeah, they're, they're lovely kits from back in the time. But yeah, um, in the comment section below, maybe you guys can tell me how many kits you own from Milan. Um, I'm sure some of you guys own a lot more than me or is building up your collections right, collections right now. Um, yeah, it's something I'm going to continuously get. And I think I'll just keep some of these kits forever just because when I get old, I want to sort of give kits down to my kids or show them certain kits, you know, including that one up there as well. This is not something I purchased, but... You know, it's a lovely frame. That's something I can just pass down to my my you know my son one day if I have one and get him into support in AC Milan. But yeah, guys, until next time. Hopefully, I'll have a bit more transfer news to talk about, and I'm hoping you enjoyed that video. It's a bit more nostalgia and fun and a bit of light-hearted thing, no causing no arguments, no debates. Until next time, guys. Forza Milan.